heard about the Free Britney movement. The phrase Free Britney is all over social media, but do you know what it's all about? Britney Jean Spears is a legendary pop star. She rose to fame in 1999 with her hit debut album, Baby One More Time, which would go on to become one of the best-selling albums of all time. That album defined an entire generation. It also made 17-year-old Britney Spears the most famous teenager in the world at the time. Britney would quickly become known as the princess of pop music. In some ways, she's like a laboratory experiment in the insulating power of relentless fame. With success came harsh criticism. During her prime, Britney was hounded by the press for her provocative clothing, who she was dating, whether or not she was a virgin. And she always seems to be paying for her teenage comments that she was going to stay a virgin until marriage. I would love to be able to try and make time. And the girl who said that she was going to stay a virgin until she got married. Do you still think there's something to be said for that? And later, she would be criticized for her parenting. It seemed like Britney couldn't do anything right, according to the press. Interestingly, the more provocative that Britney got, the more famous she became, all the while being bashed for her provocativeness. There is an obvious disconnect between the public and the press loving her provocativeness and wanting more, yet at the same time, this same public and press hate her provocativeness and bash her for it. It is a confusing and frustrating double standard that most women deal with, but when you're a mega pop star, the praises and the criticisms that surround you become magnified. Britney was dubbed a bad role model for young fans that idolized her. A lot of the times the press seems to build you up as a sex symbol. Right, and it, right. you know, and that's, that, that I think would create a certain amount of pressure. Do you, does that, right. does that, does that bother you when people look at you that way? But, um, I just think it's really funny though that, you know, just by me doing the baby video um, with right. my belly showing or whatever, <laughs> I mean, I love Backstreet Boys and NSYNC, right. but when they're doing all those thrust on the stage and when they're making out with the microphone thing no one says anything about that but right, when exactly. i'm just showing a little belly it's everyone's the double like, standard Ooh. guys can do you know whatever what I mean? they want and the girls got to be very careful <laughs> right um anyone who was paying attention could see that this constant hounding by the media the constant pressure and scrutiny that she was under and being endlessly pursued by the paparazzi was going to have a negative impact on britney and many began to fear for her i'm sad Around 2006, Britney's behavior was getting more visibly out of control, especially for someone with two young sons. She was hanging out all night with certified party girls like Paris Hilton and Lindsay Lohan, fighting with the paparazzi, and was in and out of rehab. Then in 2007, Britney had a very public meltdown and shaved her own head inside of a beauty salon. That incident was all caught in camera and quickly went viral. Then in 2008, in the midst of a nasty custody battle with ex-husband Kevin Federline over their boys, Jaden and Sean, things took a turn for the worse and Britney would be placed on a 5150. A 5150 allows for an adult who is experiencing a mental health crisis to be involuntarily detained for a 72-hour psychiatric hospitalization when they are evaluated to be a danger to others or to themselves. On the night that Britney was placed on the 5150, authorities reported that Britney appeared to be under the influence of an unknown substance. Britney, who had lost primary custody of her children to her ex-husband Kevin Federline, only had visitation rights at the time. Britney became emotional not wanting her sons to leave and locked herself inside of her room in her home with son Jaden. Eventually, the authorities showed up, went into her home, and tied Britney down to a gurney. She was then taken in on the 5150 for a 72-hour mental evaluation. A judge ended up appointing Britney's father and, interestingly, her lawyer, Andrew Wallet, as her legal guardians. This is known as a conservatorship. In a conservatorship, a guardian is appointed by a judge to manage the financial affairs and or daily life of someone due to physical or mental limitations or old age. The conservatorship for Brittany was only supposed to be temporary, but would eventually become much more permanent. In this conservatorship, Brittany's father, Jamie, and her lawyer, Andrew, have full control over Brittany's career, her multi-million dollar fortune, and even visitation rights with her children. Many have said that Brittany's conservatorship is too extreme. Under it, she is not even allowed to drive a car. Courts usually reserve conservatorship for those with severe dementia and those with extreme mental disabilities, so the concerns are valid. 
People have argued that Brittany has made positive transformations since 2008 and that her mental health is stable. They also say that for someone as young as Brittany, who is now 38 years old and is clearly able to work and be productive on a high level, that this kind of conservatorship is almost unheard of for someone as healthy as she is and someone whose mental health seems to be stable. Many of Britney's fans think that the conservatorship is simply a means of controlling her and her immense wealth. Fans' concern and their theories in the conservatorship are now known as the Free Britney Movement. The Free Britney Movement has pointed out that the conservators, her father and lawyer, are in a position to gain financially from this arrangement. In 2018, Britney spent $1.1 million in conservator fees. Of that, 128000 went directly to her father according to financial documents obtained by Entertainment Tonight. Britney's father, Jamie, would eventually go on to become her only conservator after former co-conservator lawyer Andrew Watlett resigned. Britney's team continues to argue that the conservatorship is necessary for her mental and financial well-being, while Britney herself repeatedly reassures fans on social media that she is doing just fine. In July 2020, Free Britney activist showed up at the courthouse where Britney appeared via Zoom to protest her conservatorship. Around 50 fans showed up with signs that said things like Free Britney and See Us, See Her. However, the Zoom hearing was virtually crashed by Free Britney protesters who stayed on the call for two hours in protest. The judge eventually gave up and rescheduled the hearing. Britney's little sister, 29-year-old Jamie Lynn Spears, had this to say about her famous older sister. And then when someone commented asking about her sister's mental health, Jamie Lynn responded, You have no right to assume anything about my sister, and I have no right to speak about her health and personal matters. She is a strong, badass, unstoppable woman, and that's the only thing that is obvious. In early August 2020, Britney Spears' father, 68-year-old Jamie Spears, finally released a statement about the Free Britney movement to the press. But now her father, Jamie, is sounding off about that hashtag Free Britney, telling critics they don't know what they're talking about. This morning, Britney Spears' father, Jamie, speaking out against the viral campaign, hashtag Free Britney, calling it a joke and a conspiracy. The pop star's dad telling the New York Post, page six, in a new interview, all these conspiracy theorists don't know anything. It's up to the court of California to decide what's best for my daughter. It's no one else's business. According to reports, the hashtag Free Britney movement began in 2009 when a fan site demanded Britney be set free from a court-ordered conservatorship managed by her father. Issued in 2008, the arrangement made him responsible for any personal or financial decisions for the singer. Some fans so concerned, this free Britney petition on Change.org gathering more than 100,000 signatures. While exact details of the conservatorship have not been revealed, Britney's father stepped down as her permanent conservator last September, citing health concerns. And a California court temporarily naming Britney's care manager, Jody Montgomery, the new conservator. Just days ago, Spears' brother Brian also weighing in on Britney's arrangement, speaking with Drew Plotkin on the podcast as not seen on TV. I mean, she's always wanted to get out of it. It's, you know, it's very frustrating to have, whether, whether it's, someone's coming in peace to help or they're coming in with you know, an attitude like having someone constantly tell you to do something, it's got to be frustrating. So yeah, she's, she's wanted to get out of it for quite some time. Brian ultimately commending the conservatorship. It's been a great thing for our family, you know, to this point, and um, just trying to keep hoping for the best. Details of the singer's court hearings continue to be kept behind closed doors, with her reps also declining to comment. And the hashtag Free Britney has been used more than 108,000 times on Instagram. So far, Britney herself has not responded to her father's latest comments. No one has ever filed any motion to eliminate the conservatorship, despite reports that Britney wants out as well as fans' concerns. It appears that Britney will stay under conservatorship for now. Until the day comes that Britney can break free from the conservatorship, fans will keep protesting on her behalf in hoping for the best.